What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk about fractional gold coins, rounds, and bars, why I stack them, and how some could go about what I like to call micro stacking. But really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there, go check it out. The link will be in the description. Trying to hit a thousand subscribers, getting pretty close. And if you wanna help support the channel by getting some DYDSS merchandise, of course we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies which are up for grabs, along with a ton of other products, t-shirts, hoodies, even stickers, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance, it's more than appreciated. But today I wanna to talk about fractional gold. So sitting here in front of me, I have three different pieces. I have a one gram gold bar. This was actually my very first piece of gold. I have a one tenth of an ounce Canadian maple leaf, a one tenth of an ounce gold eagle. And I want to talk about these today because I'm noticing a lot of people are commenting on a video that I posted a very long time ago talking about a rookie mistake that I had made, or what I consider to be a rookie mistake, in reference to this little one gram gold bar. I don't know if more people have been watching that video and liking and commenting it and feeding it to the algorithm and it gets promoted to people who don't even know of my channel. I have no idea, but the video was posted probably a year, year and a half ago, and it's now gaining a lot of traction for some reason. So. I thought it was pretty interesting and I wanted to talk about it today. So this right here was my very first piece of gold, a one gram gold bar. You can actually see, let me see if I can get it to focus, one gram fine gold, four nines fine, nine 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 nine, nine gold. So the reason I referred to it as somewhat of a rookie mistake was because when I first got this little one gram gold bar, I thought that that was probably the best way to go. I was like, well, why get an entire troy ounce of gold when I can get a one gram gold bar and by the time I get to 31 of these little one gram gold bars, that's about a troy ounce of gold. By the way, that's another thing. I've noticed a lot of comments. I receive at least a comment a week on that video that I posted saying that, oh, you're so stupid, 31 grams in an ounce. You're so foolish, get off of YouTube. You're so ignorant, you know absolutely nothing. There are 28 grams in an ounce, not 31, you moron. That's because we're talking about troy ounces. Precious metals are weighed in troy ounces. Anyway, moving forward. This right here carries a higher premium than if you were to get a larger denomination piece of gold. These right here carry a lower premium than this right here. If I were to get a quarter ounce gold coin, which by the way, is about the size of a quarter, give or take. If I were to get a half ounce gold coin, it'd be just about the size of this half ounce piece of silver. It'd be a little bit smaller than this technically, but point being is the larger the denomination of gold, the lower the premium is typically going to be. It's like going to a wholesale club store and getting something in bulk for a smaller dollar amount. The same goes for precious metals, basically. Goes for silver, goes for gold. That's why a lot of people think that getting one ounce of silver at a time is a bad idea. Some people say you should save up and just get kilo bars or, or just large denominations of silver. I disagree, but to each their own. Now, initially, when I got this, I believe the spot price of gold was around the eleven or twelve hundred dollar mark, and if you were to divide that by thirty one, because just about thirty one grams in a troy ounce of gold, this would have came to about thirty five dollars. But I paid, I think like fifty dollars, maybe fifty one, fifty two dollars. So at the time, that's a pretty high premium. But if you look at the spot price today, it's not $1,100, it's not $1,200 anymore. It's in the $1,700 to $1,800 range. It's gone up by several hundreds of dollars since I picked up this little one gram gold bar. So I, out of curiosity, went online and I just wanted to see what these little one gram gold bars are going for. 
and I saw some going for $77. I saw some going all the way up to $90. So when spot price goes up and over the last three or four months, we saw an increase in premiums in general across the board for silver and gold, more so silver, but gold as well. This right here is going for about 90 bucks on certain sites anyway. I'm sure you can find them lower certain sites. I'm sure you can find them higher on other sites as well. But point being is they carry a higher premium. And when I first got started stacking, I didn't really fully understand the whole premium concept. I didn't think that it would cost a higher dollar amount to get smaller pieces of gold. I didn't know. And that's what I consider to be a rookie mistake. Not necessarily getting this one gram gold bar, but not understanding how premiums worked. That was my rookie mistake. But at the same time, I said to myself, I'm probably not going to get one of these again. I don't really want one gram gold bars. I'll keep this. I'm not going to part ways with this. But when it comes to gold and silver as well, I'm not the biggest fan of rounds and bars. I prefer coins. I like government minted bullion. That's just my preference. This right here, this is not government minted. This doesn't have face value. This isn't necessarily recognized all over the place. A maple leaf or an eagle would be. Plus, I wanted to get slightly larger denominations of gold to help lower the premium a little bit, but at the same time, I do not want to get a full troy ounce of gold. I do not want a one troy ounce gold coin, round, or bar. If I found one for an incredibly, incredibly, incredibly enticing dollar bill price tag, I would go for it, meaning if it was close to spot, potentially below spot, or at spot or whatever, I'm not going to turn my back on an opportunity. But the way that I like to stack, I like putting my dollars into multiple smaller transactions. I find it to be safer. I find it to be smarter. That's just my opinion. If you disagree with me, do things the way that you want to do things. I'm going to do things the way that I want to do things. So moving forward, away from the one gram gold bar, I started stacking fractional gold coins. Now, out of all of my gold coins, I only have gold eagles and gold maples. And I started out with the one-tenth of an ounce denomination. I'm also a fan of quarter ounce gold coins as well. I would also maybe one day like to get some half ounce gold coins, although I do not have any yet. Maybe one day. And you can actually tell the difference in color between these two pieces of gold. Contrary to popular belief, here's another thing that some people try to be combative with me over. The maple, the gold maple, is a pure gold coin. Whether it's a tenth ounce, quarter ounce, half ounce, one ounce, they are pure gold. The gold eagle is not a pure gold coin. It contains a tenth of an ounce of pure gold, but there are other metals mixed into it. It's not pure gold. It has a little bit of copper. I believe it even has a little bit of silver, but this is not a pure gold coin. Whether it's tenth ounce, quarter ounce, half ounce, or one ounce, they are not pure gold. Understand that. So I like to stack fractional gold for a variety of reasons. I talked about it in a recent video, maybe a couple weeks or a month or so back. I talked about how I consider a slightly higher premium on fractional gold to be somewhat of a security feature because I use the example if I ordered gold online and it would just somehow get lost in the mail. This right now, because of the current spot price, is worth, let's just say, about 180 bucks. Just one of these. If that were to get lost in the mail, somehow, some way, that would be a whole lot less heartbreaking than if I were to lose something in the mail that's worth 
$1,800, such as a full troy ounce of gold. Again, this is just my opinion and from my perspective, I'm not a financial advisor, nothing on this channel is financial advice, it's all for entertainment purposes, but it's also to initiate a conversation. So on that right there, I'm curious, what are your thoughts? Head on down to the comments and let me know. So next thing I wanna talk about in reference to gold is why I also don't enjoy the thought of putting a large dollar amount into one specific piece of metal. Now, I have no problem getting my hands on 10 of these at a time. I would rather have 10 of these than one troy ounce gold coin. Reason for that is because if and when the day comes where I need to, or if I want to part ways with a small portion of my gold, if I need to liquidate, if there's something that I have to buy, something that I have to pay for, of course I stack cash as well, but if I needed to liquidate for some reason, some type of emergency was going on and I needed, let's just say, I don't know, 700 bucks and I wanted to liquidate with my gold and convert it back into cash, even though that seems a little bit counterproductive, but hey, things happen sometimes. Sometimes you got to do what you got to do. It's out of your control, it's out of your hands. You gotta do what needs to be done. So if I were to have 10 of these, I could go and just grab five of them, four, five, six of them, go on over to a coin shop or list them on eBay or advertise them on Instagram or something like that, which by the way, I do in fact have an Instagram page. If you have an Instagram, hit me with a follow. I post pictures of coins and I also post surveys and updates and stuff like that over on Instagram every single day. So at MikeyDYDSS, link in the description. But I find it's best and I find it's better, in my opinion, to just grab four or five or six of these right here, run on over to a coin shop or put them up on eBay or advertise them on Instagram and part ways with them like that then for me to take a one troy ounce gold coin and not really be able to do anything but liquidate the entire thing. Like imagine if I had a stack of one ounce gold coins. If I had five of them. Or if I had 50 of these. In my opinion, I would rather have 50 of these than five one troy ounce gold coins. But that's just my opinion. That's just how I feel. I'm curious. What are your thoughts? Head on down to the comments and let me know. So I do stack fractional gold for that reason right there. Also, just because I like it. It's easier to hide. It's easier to transport. It's easier to store. And when it comes to micro stacking, that's what I call the one gram denominations. Now, when it comes to one gram bars of gold or even silver, I do have grams of silver, but that's because they were given to me by a family member as a Christmas present, but I couldn't see myself stacking one gram bars of gold or silver ever again. Like I said, if I stumbled upon a large denomination of gold for a very enticing dollar amount price tag, a low premium or at spot or potentially below spot, I'm not gonna turn my back on an opportunity. And the same goes for gold on a micro level. If I were to find one of these, or if somebody were to offer me one of these for let's just say 50 bucks, I would go for it. Considering that these right now are going for 77 to 90 dollars from what I've seen on a couple different sites, a couple different listings. Like I said, I'm not gonna turn my back on an opportunity, but generally speaking, they do carry a higher premium and also due to the fact that they are technically just a little gold bar, it's not as recognizable, it's not as trusted, it's not as desired as a government minted coin. These right here are the number one and number two most recognizable gold coins that there are, to my knowledge anyway, 
when it comes to silver, that's the way it is. The Silver Eagle is the number one most recognizable pure silver, one troy ounce silver coin, while the Maple is a very close second. So I would say the same goes for gold. Now let's talk about design really quick. I've always said this, when it comes to silver, I love both designs, but I would 100% take the Silver Eagle over the Silver Maple any day of the week. When it comes to gold, on the other hand, I would say it's the other way around. I would say that they're both beautiful coins, but if I had to choose, I think I would go with the Gold Maple. And the main reason for that is the Gold Maple is the pure gold coin between the two. Like I said, this is not a pure gold coin. So I appreciate the purity, but even the design, I just, I like it better. The gold maple leaf, as opposed to the gold eagle, like this side of the coin, beautiful. But if you were to flip it over, not to say it's ugly, but it's just a little bit too busy in my opinion. I'm just not a fan of the design. I love the fact that it's gold. I love the fact that it's the gold coin of my country. And I stack them regardless, but I'm saying between the two, design-wise, I like the maple a little bit more. Once again, I'm curious, what are your thoughts? Head on down to the comments and let me know. I am not a financial advisor, nothing on this channel is financial advice, it's for entertainment purposes only, but it's to initiate a conversation as well, which is what I'm hoping this video will do. Let's have a conversation about it. You know my thoughts, let me know yours. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. If you guys like me, make sure to subscribe. New videos every single day, 365 days a year. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there, go check it out. The link will be in the description. Trying really hard to hit 1,000 subscribers and we're getting really close, so help us out. And if you wanna help support the channel in the biggest possible way, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Of course, we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies, which are up for grabs along with a ton of other products, t-shirts, hoodies, even stickers, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations. And of course, the brand new Major Cheese Ball t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug, because evidently, if you carry a coin around with you in your pocket, apparently that makes us Major Cheese Balls. I embrace it and I hope you do too. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance, it's more than appreciated. And once again, I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know, what are your thoughts on everything that I shared today about fractional gold coins and micro stacking, which is what I like to call it when it comes to one gram gold bars. Do you pay the higher premium just to have a smaller denomination of gold? Do you avoid it for the high premiums? Do you save up your cash? Do you save up your currency and wait until you can get a larger denomination piece of gold, such as maybe a half ounce or maybe a full troy ounce of gold? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.